In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 19, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Colorado Rockies vs. Cincinnati Reds The Colorado Rockies are on the road Monday to play the first game of a three-game series and the eighth game of a ten-game road trip when paying a visit to the red-hot Cincinnati Reds. Colorado lost to the Atlanta Braves 10-2 on Saturday and has lost four straight in 10 of the last 13. Cincinnati defeated the Houston Astros 10-3 for their seventh straight win and tenth in the last 12. The Reds are within a half game of first place in the National League Central. The Rockies are 36-79 in their last 115 road games and 0-5 in their last 5 overall. The Reds are 5-2 in their last 7 Monday games and 8-0 in their last 8 overall. The under is 13-5-1 in Rockies' last 19 Monday games. The over is 5-1 in Reds' last 6 Monday games. The Rockies are 1-7 in the last 8 meetings in Cincinnati. The Reds have been red hot recently as they have won 8 straight games and are now contending for the top spot in the division. They have been hitting the ball really well and have pitching well. The Reds are coming off of a sweep against the Royals and the Astros. They are starting a pitcher, Williamson, that allowed just one earned run against the Rockies earlier in the season. The Reds are also 5-1 when Williamson gets the start this season. The Rockies have lost 5 straight games and they are hitting just .238 at the plate when playing on the road. Rockies starting pitcher, Gomer, has an earned run average of 6.56 during night games. The Colorado Rockies can't string together consistent offense, they're not winning games, and Austin Gomer has been god-awful with his 7.29 earned run average and 1.7 WHIP. The Cincinnati Reds are starting to pile up the wins and as I've said for a while, they have a pep in their step since the call-up of Ellie de la Cruz. I'm not stepping in front of the Reds, especially for the Rockies, so the Cincinnati Reds' money line is our full game side pick. In normal conditions, this game might have combined for 20 runs. I'm being slightly dramatic, but also not really. Austin Gomer and Brandon Williamson have been atrocious this season and by far the biggest weak link in their respective rotations. However, Monday's conditions in Cincinnati call for rain, thunderstorms, and more rain. It's expected to start raining early in the morning and go all day, so this game is in serious jeopardy of being postponed. I would guess that this game will start with a rain delay, and if it doesn't, it will likely be delayed at some point in the evening. However, if the game does happen, let's break it down. Gomer owns a 7.29 earned run average and a 7.2 expected earned run average after 14 starts. Considering his last start was his best in a while as he threw 6 innings and allowed only 3 runs and his earned run average is still above 7, it just shows how tough of a season it's been for the lefty. The lefty ranks in the bottom 10% of pitchers in expected batting average, expected slugging percentage, strikeout rate, whiff rate and so much more. His counterpart will be Williams and he hasn't exactly been much better. The lefty has a 5.4 earned run average with a 7.24 expected earned run average and ranks in the bottom 5% of pitchers in expected batting average, expected slugging percentage, barrel rate, and so much more. The only choice in this game is the over, even if some rain is in the forecast. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Boston Red Sox vs. Minnesota Twins A pair of American League teams kick off an early week series on the diamond up in the Twin Cities. The Boston Red Sox are on the road as they play the first game of a four-game series with the Minnesota Twins Monday night. Boston was rained out Saturday, forcing them into a day-night doubleheader with the Yankees Sunday to close their three-game series. The Red Sox hammered their way to a 15-5 win in the opening game of the set Friday night. Minnesota closed a four-game series at home with Detroit Sunday hoping for a split. The Twins earned a 2-0 win in the third game of the series Saturday afternoon. In the first series between the teams this season, Boston took two of three at home April 18th and April 20th. Boston is 4-1 in their last five games against a team with a winning record and 0-4 in their last four Monday games, while the under is 5-0 in their last five road games against a team with a winning record. Minnesota is 13-5 in their last 18 home games against a team
team with a left-handed starter and 2-5 in their last seven games against the American League East while the under is 6-2 in their last eight games following a loss. The Red Sox have been extremely pleased with how well Paxton has been dealing and they need it desperately, especially in the face of Chris Sale going down once again. Boston's starter knows that rode all too well himself, but while he is here and throwing well, we should look to take advantage. He has struck out at least eight batters in each of his last three starts and averaged 101.3 pitchers per game in that stretch, showing no signs of wear from the effort. The Twins' offense has been extremely thin this year and hasn't shown a whole lot of signs that they will ever come out of it. Corey and Byron Buxton have proven unworthy of all the praise heaped on them earlier in the year and Joey Gallo's early season horse carriage turned into his usual pumpkin. I think Paxton has another strong outing in this game. So the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. When they first met back in April, these two combined to average 13 runs per game, with all three matchups going over the total placed on them. The over is 5-0 in the last five meetings and 7-2-1 in the last 10. Between them, the two teams have had 69 of their games hit the over. The Twins have scored at least seven runs in four of Lopez's last six starts. Paxton has seen the total of three of his last four starts hit nine on the nose. This is a decent pitching matchup on the marquee, but Pablo Lopez has really scuffled at home this season and James James Paxton's lone blow-up start came on the road this season. These are two teams that also have a lot of power at the plate and I think this is going to be a fairly high-scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Arizona Diamondbacks vs. Milwaukee Brewers The Milwaukee Brewers will open up a three-game home stand against the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Brewers are looking to sweep the Pirates at home while the Diamondbacks are looking to pull off a sweep over the Guardians. Arizona is 5-0 in their last five road games and 14-6 in their last 20 games overall while the over is 6-1 in their last seven games against the National League Central. Milwaukee is 2-6 in their last eight games overall and 1-5 in their last six games against the National League West while the under is 7-3-2 in their last 12 games against a team with a winning record. The Arizona Diamondbacks are heading to Milwaukee to take on the Brewers at American Family Field. To open up the series, Arizona has Merrill Kelly listed as the starting pitcher. Kelly has put together a respectable season so far, having an 8-3 record with a 3.04 earned run average and 1.11 WHIP. His percentiles are essentially the prime example of an average MLB pitcher besides his walk rate. Kelly has an expected earned run average of 4.05 and has allowed three-plus runs in both of his last two games, which is something he hasn't done all year. He may be due for some regression in this matchup, and the Brewers already got the best of him in their first time facing off this season. Pitching for the Brewers will be Corbin Burns, who has a 3.44 earned run average and 1.1 WHIP. Although his 5-4 record may not show it, Burns sits in good company when it comes to percentiles. He ranks in the top 75th percentiles for average exit velocity, expected batting average, expected slugging percentage, hard hit percentage, and barrel percent. His expected earned run average is substantially lower than Kelly's and he also sits above Kelly in every percentile ranking besides the strikeout categories. I expect positive regression from Burns in front of the home fans, so the Milwaukee Brewers money line is our full game side pick. The Diamondbacks are averaging 5.15 runs per game and 5.58 runs per game on the road. They averaged 3.67 runs per game in their last three games against the Brewers. With Milwaukee giving up 4.17 runs per game at home, the Diamondbacks will be held under their average in this game. The Brewers are averaging 4.06 runs per game and 4.33 runs per game at home. They averaged 3.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Diamondbacks. The Brewers and Diamondbacks played under the total in four of their last five meetings. This is a great pitching matchup between Kelly, who has been solid on the road this season with an era over two and I consider him to be the number two in Arizona's rotation, going against Milwaukee's staff ace and Corbin Burns who has pitched better at home this season. I think this has pitchers duel ridden all over it. Even though Arizona is giving up 5.03 runs per game on the road, the Brewers won't score enough runs to push the score past the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.